So again, these are just more different types of problems you can encounter. What if they give you a specific pH? So by altering the pH, you can affect the solubility. Uh, you can also affect the solubility by um, uh, increasing the temperature. Uh, if you um, heat up your liquid, it will dissolve more of your um, uh, precipitate. So let's say um, they tell us that the pH is... Um, uh, um, 10, 10, let's just make it see, pH is 10, and they want to know how much, um, nickel hydroxide, um, will dissolve in water, and specifically they want to know the, um, uh, yes, they want to know how much nickel hydroxide will dissolve in water when the pH is 10, okay? So, okay, so you work through your ice table, okay, um, however, they are basically telling us the equilibrium concentration by telling us the pH. If my pH is 10, it means my pOH is 4. So that means my um, equilibrium concentration of hydroxide is going to be... So then I know the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. All right, so now I know this. All right, so then I only really have one unknown here, and that is the amount of uh, nickel. Okay, we're not doing any shifting because, because they're telling us the pH, they're telling us the equilibrium concentration. Okay, so Ksp is products over reactants. Do not forget the square. So the Ksp, we look it up, and the Ksp of nickel hydroxide is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 16th. Concentration of nickel, we don't know. Uh, let's just throw the x in there. Concentration of OH, but it's squared. So then x is going to equal... One point six times ten to the negative eighth molar. That's the concentration of nickel. Okay? So that's another type of problem.